Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the first video of Manalid Mami. Um, my name is Jamie and yeah, this is kind of crazy. This is my first video. Um, I am using the Dose of Colors collab with Desi and Katie. I'm obsessed with them. I'm sure a lot of you guys are. Um, they're pretty big in the Instagram game. Here they are. Just want to be their friend, like, hi, right here. <laughs> ah, this is a holy grail product. Like, literally, I've never used these kinds of eyeshadows before, and I am obsessed to say the least. Susan Harpoon are the two that will be used wet, and Turbosan and Noli are the ones that you use just regular with your finger. Boom, boom, just so, oh, it's not really, there we go. They're just so luxe, <laughs> Lester luxe, um, and just their quality of their products are just amazing. I kind of regret not getting their liquid lipsticks now that I've read more about it. I'm just not really a liquid lipsticks kind of girl, but when it gets restocked, maybe I will do it. And I just want to thank all of you guys who have been supporting me over the past, I don't know, year less than a year um, of me actually pursuing makeup and just really believing that I can help other people that look like me, I guess. Um, so thank you to my friends, my family, random people on Instagram that have been following me at Mono Lin Mommy. Um, that's kind of like the alter ego that I go by. Um, so thank you so much for supporting me and if you're interested in this look right here, please keep watching. Alright, so off camera, I've already done my brows, my eye primer, and face primer. I'm gonna go in and use the Meet Matrimony palette. I'm gonna go in with my MAC 224, just this shading brush, um, and go into my crease color. I'm gonna just use the Nude Beach palette from The Bomb as well. Yeah, I'm just in love with the tones. Just all these warm tones. So we're gonna go into, I think, Bodacious. Keep it pretty tight. Um, just gonna go in and create the same kind of illusion. I always keep um, a kind of denser, oops denser shading brush like this um, that's just clean and so I can go over it and make sure that I'm blending all the edges as I'm going. I always have like two, three brushes with me at one time. And I'm just gonna pack that on. I'm using kind of, well this is the Mikasa brush in E310. It's like a normal pencil brush. All their brushes are pretty affordable, I would say. The next thing I'm going to do is just pick up with the same brush that I was using um, and go into this shade right here, Matt Kumar. I kind of want to create like this gradient effect, if that makes sense. So you're going from like dark to light out. I know for especially monolid eyes, it's very intimidating to go in with a dark color right off the gate, just start putting stuff on. But I would just encourage you to practice and just use the same kind of method that I'm using right now. I'm just gonna go back in and make sure that I get all of the corner side. I'm just dipping my finger into it, actually. And, whoa, look at that. Um, and just put on. Oh wow, it's so pretty. So it looks like I've got a black eye, but we're gonna make sure that this is looking fire at the end. With a pencil brush again. I'm gonna go in with like the same one. I'm pretty much use like the same three brushes at any given time. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that I intensify this a bit. 
We've pretty much just used some warm tones up here and then the cool tone here. Um, we're gonna use the same kind of warmer tone on the bottom. <laughs> um, and then, but that's gonna happen after we put on our foundation. It's the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light and the Infallible Pro Matte. So I'm gonna just combine them together. Um, reason for that is because I personally like a more glowy skin look. I'm gonna get my BH Studio Pro um, foundation brush. That's this one and it's so soft. I love it. Even though it looks really light right now, we're gonna go in with contour so it doesn't look so crazy. And obviously I'm breaking out um, all over just like boom, 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 just everywhere. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is covered but it's not to the point where it looks cakey. Once I have like a good base on, then I can kind of target my problem areas a bit better. So what I'm gonna do Ooh, zombie lips. Um, is grab my pre-damp booty blender and just make sure that everything is covered and flawless. What I always use since I don't know when um, has been the Maybelline, Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder. I go under my eyes. Um, and depending on if I'm doing like full coverage or not, um, I'll bring it up pretty high. I don't crease too much under my eyelids, but um, it's not like a ton of product, so I'm not too concerned. And then I just bring it up like kind of like at an angle just to clean up any other product. And I bring it down the side of my nose. If I'm doing like a full beat contour look, I'm going to do it uh, right under my cheekbone too. And just three swipes like that. I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. Just go into this quad. Clearly I use it a lot. Um, and I just mix up the shades. Just grab like the caramel color and the darker shade and I mix those two together on just a flat brush. This one is from Royal Anne. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but I just swiped that on my top forehead. I have a pretty big noggin, so I like to shorten that a bit. I just put like one, two, one line, and two, and then go back in and I just create like a C shape, like a low C, I don't know. Um, and then I just kind of go like back into my jawline. If I wanted to go for that extra snatch nose effect, I just put some on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the top to create like the button nose and just like that. Go back in with your beauty blender and before it dries too much, you wanna make sure that you kind of get all that. Going in with the Multitasker Blush Brush um, from Sephora, I think. It's an angled brush. It says it's a Multitasker Blush, but I want to say it's for contour. And I'm just going to go in with like a mixture of all of these guys. Next, I'm going to just use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just put that under my eyes. What I do is I just bring it pretty close to my nose bridge like that and then just pack it on. I go pretty heavy like around my nose but other than that it's pretty light. Just put a little bit down my nose. And depending on if you have like a high set nose or if it's a little bit flatter like mine, you can use as much or little powder as you prefer. 
So I just let that sit on for a couple minutes. Okay, close this guy up. And while that's setting, uh, what I like to do is finish up my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with a with my pencil brush and uh, like a liner flat top brush. I'm not sure what brush brand this is because my mom gave it to me a long time ago. It's called Secrets Burbank, California. I don't know what the hell that means. My mom just gave it to me a long, long time ago and this is just what I've been using for the time being. Um, I have a lot of like angle brushes and things like that, but I don't know, it just doesn't really do it for me. I just really prefer this like tapered, it's like kind of like that coffin nail shape where it's like tapered and then just flat across the top. With my pencil brush, I'm gonna go into bold, which is this guy right here. And just go underneath. And kind of connect that top layer. And go back in with Brave and just lightly line the outer part of my eye. I just get a kabuki brush. This one's from e.l.f. Very inexpensive from Target. And I just lightly dust that off. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in... I think it's just black. Blacker? Core? I don't know. Black core? I don't know. So I'm going to go into Matte Ahmed and Matte Motskowitz and kind of like use the two blending those together and just making sure that I get all of that blend it out. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer now we're gonna go in with the Balm Cosmetics Balm Beach blush, long wearing blush I'm just gonna put that on with the BH Studio Pro 3 I guess they all come in like a set or something. Last thing that we're just gonna do are throw in some lashes. So I have these ones by BH Cosmetics in their Studio Pro line. They are in the style M202. I've been using them for a little while now and I love them so much. They're just extra flirty, um, but they don't have like that harsh band that's really difficult to put on for lids like mine. So you want something like this where like the lid or the band is invisible. Okay, so I've been using the Ardency in in Punker Rock. It's a waterproof liquid liner. Um, and I've just been using that. It's pretty similar to the Kat Von D one. I don't know what the exact price point point is, but I will link it down below. And I'm just gonna go in and pretty much just tight line. Last step is to just highlight your face. So we're going to use the Manizer Sisters from the Balm Cosmetics. Get just a fan brush. Um, this one is from Makeup Academy. I think I just picked this up in a drugstore. So um, balling on a budget, you know. So I'm going to go into Mary Lou Manizer, which is like the champagne color. And just... Lightly dust that onto my cheeks. With my ring finger, I'm just gonna dip into it and then just put it on the bridge of my nose and then just on the very tip. Well, we're gonna use more creamer, please, with over the top on the top. So let's just go into it. I'm going to use a liner just to see what the color payoff is without it. And I just love this packaging. Just with over the top. I'm just going to add a little bit of shine. And guys, this smells so good, like, so, so good. It's kind of incredible how good it smells. 
We're just gonna spray our face one last time. And this is it. It's the final product. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I hope to see you all in the next one.